All right, let's talk about Lando and Laravel today. Uh, over on the right here, we've got an outline of what we want to accomplish. Let's look at some documentation. We'll look at the Lando docs and the Laravel docs, and then get you started with all the things you need to develop a Laravel application using Lando to manage your dependencies. So the main Lando documentation page is docs, um, docs.devwithlando.io. And if you don't have Lando yet, go over here to this installing section and it will tell you what to do for your operating system to grab Lando and get you started. Um, there's lots of interesting things to read about here, lots of customizations that you can make, lots of tools you can pipe into Lando. The Laravel documentation is at laravel.com and documentation is excellent and this is everything you need to get started uh, developing with the Laravel PHP framework. Great. So let's hop over to our terminal here and the first thing that we're going to do is initialize the application. So we're going to do that with Lando init. So Lando init. Uh, nothing in this directory right now. This is just an empty uh, directory. So Lando init. And that's going to get us going. And that will prompt us for what recipe we want to start with. And these are the starting states for our application. We're going to choose Laravel. And then where is the web root relative to the init destination? So for a Laravel application, that's going to be public. Uh, name your application, so let's call this Lando and Laravel. That's great, it's initialized. So what that does is create this configuration file called .lando.yaml. And that stores the answers to the questions that we just answered so that Lando knows how to interact with this application. So there's much more that you can do with this Lando.yaml file. We can customize it to meet our needs. So say we want PHP 7.2, we can specify 7.2. Uh, we can go backwards to 5.3, upwards to 7.2. And then say we want to use uh, Nginx. So by default, we'll use Apache. If we are using Nginx in production, we can specify Nginx here. So there are just a couple examples of some configuration that you can do, some customizations. The next thing we're going to do is start the application. So that's going to be Lando start, and that's going to expose some tooling commands to us. So let's do Lando start. So that's going to start up the uh, Docker containers that we need to run this application. So we see I have a database and an app server and an Nginx container starting up. And if you don't know about Docker, that's great. You can uh, use Lando to customize up to the Docker Compose level. Uh, if you don't know about Docker, that's also fine, you could just type Lando start and let Lando handle it for you. That's perfectly fine. So this is going to get the containers ready for us according to what we specified in our uh, .lando.yaml configuration file. And once that's re ready to go, we'll have some exposed tools to us and we'll use Composer to download uh, Laravel codebase. So once we have Lando started up, it will expose some tools to us. So one of them will be Composer, and then we can do Lando Composer create project and get the Laravel code base. It's also going to expose uh, some things that are relevant to Laravel applications. So you have access to Artisan, uh, Composer we just talked about. Lando info will give you information about your application, such as like what ports are exposed for the database. So if you want to connect to it via uh, SQL Pro or something like that, you can get the information to put in there. It exposes the Laravel command line tool, uh, MySQL, so if you want to connect to the um, database via command line, Lando MySQL will get you in there. And logs, so Lando logs, so you can see the logs for like the database server or the app server or all of them if you want. So this is taking a second to st start up because it checks to see when the containers are ready and right now it's trying to pick that public directory but we don't have any Laravel code in there right now so I have to wait a second for that to time out um, and then we'll be uh, ready to go. Uh, some other things that you could do with the .lando.yaml file you can do xdebug equals true and get uh, xdebug sessions going so that you can uh, debug your application that way. Uh, you can specify MySQL or MariaDB backends, you can specify versions, um, lots of things like that, that that you can do. You can also put in uh, custom tools um, and that's all in the documentation. So if you look in the documentation here, uh, you can find out all kinds of things that you can do. We have uh, events, 
So if you want to put events in your .lino.yml file, you can do things like that. So after a DB import, do some do something. Uh, you wouldn't use Drush on Laravel application, obviously, but for example, that's the thing you could do. You could run your artisan migrations after a, um, after a certain event happens. You can add in node tooling to compile SAS and do uh, and do things like that. So that's great. Great, we're started up here. So those URLs came out red because we don't have the Laravel code base yet. So what we're going to do is grab that code base and we're going to do that with Composer. So if you just type Lando, it will show you what tools are available to this Lando application. Um, so those are the things that we just talked about. Um, DB export, DB import, Composer, Artisan, um, regular Lando commands so you can SSH into the container. So things like that. So we're going to use Composer right now to uh, download a Laravel application. So we will do Lando Composer um, Create Project Laravel Laravel and you can't create a project in a directory that already has stuff in it and we have this .lando.yaml file in here so we're going to just put it in a directory called blah that we're just going to discard we're just going to use it to download the code base and then we'll move it down one level so the, re the reason that I started the application there did Lando start before, before I, I mean you can use Composer from your local machine if you have it installed but one of the things that Lando can do for you is manage all of your dev, dev dependencies including Composer so if you start the application, this is actually using Composer from inside the container. So you don't even have to have Composer on your machine if you don't want to. It's perfectly fine to have it on your machine. So now we're doing uh, Lando Composer Create Project and using the Composer from inside the container to download the code base for the application. So this is going out again our Laravel things. So that's fantastic. And when we refresh this uh, file tree over here, we should see some stuff coming in. So you see we have a blah directory and it's populating with our Laravel source code. There's our public directory, .m file, everything we need for the Laravel application. And once that's done, we're actually going to move it out of the blah directory down one level. Finishing up here. So let's move everything out of blah because we, we just did that so that we uh, composer create won't let us go initialize an application in our directory that already has stuff in it. So we're going to move the dot files as well. And now if we refresh the file tree down here, uh, everything's moved up a level. We got everything where we need it to be. Blah should be empty, so we don't need that. That was just a temporary. So let's remove that. Great, so now um, we can actually visit the app. So if you use the Lando info command, we saw those URLs come up red, but if you issue some more commands like we just did, you can uh, use Lando info to expose information about your application. And in this case, what we're after is the URLs. But So for example, here's the uh, database port if you wanna uh, hook that up to SQL Pro or some application like that. So I'm gonna use the HTTPS URL and that's a self-signed cert, so you have to tell your browser to trust it. There we go, we got a Laravel application and you can start developing just like you normally would. So just to expose uh, the fact that the tooling is there, uh, we just use Composer, but you can do uh, artisan commands. So uh, help make migration. Oh, you gotta spell Lando correctly. Great, so you see that uh, Artisan is there and we can use the help and figure out how to make a migration and do your, you know, your normal Laravel things that you, that you, you know and love. Uh, if you want to use the, uh, see the logs, if you're trying to troubleshoot something, Lando logs, um, this will get all of the logs. If you want to follow them, you can follow them. Lando logs, and if you want to just maybe just do the app server, and that will follow the log uh, 
so you can see what's going on. So there's that page hit right there and see if you're getting some kind of an error or whatever is going on with your application. Um, and then when we're uh, done developing, we can do Lando stop and that will shut down the containers. And that should do it. That's everything you need to know to get going using Laravel application inside of Lando, Lando managing the dev dependencies for you. If you have any questions, hit us up on our Slack. Thanks for watching.